What is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest MIUI 11 ROM on this device and I have been using this for quite a long time now and I have to say this MIUI 11.0.1 is kind of different but let me talk about it a little bit in this video. It is not perfect but it is working well. Well if you go to the system updates it will of course show the MIUI 11 icon and this is the MIUI 11.0.1 stable build and it is going to be rolling out like 4K20 Pro or it has already rolled out I'm not quite sure but I did flash it with the orange box recovery and I just had to flash the like ROM file and the fcrypt disabler or the DM Verity fcrypt disabler and after I have done that I have flashed the new DM Verity file so Magisk is installed somehow so yeah I do have root access right now on this MIUI and again if I go into that specific settings in the about phone you will see that this is still based on the Android 10 so that is really great and let me go back and I did also flash the like 72 Hz mod and with that mod like everything feels quite smooth but let me tell you this is not a consistent 72 Hz the FPS just drops sometimes like too much and if I just open this as you can see 61 72 and it kind of like goes 37 40 then again 50 it just like goes like that but right now as you can see the fps is kind of stuck at like 40 45 so it is kind of weird but yeah if you check with ida 64 in the display settings you will see the refresh rate shows as 72 hertz maybe this is just the miui optimization this is the first miui 11 build official stable build of miui 11 i think that is that is the reason why and I flash the 72Hz for Q. The old 81Hz mod does not work with Android Q, I think. And otherwise, let me talk about the ROM itself. Well, the icons, if you are noticing, if you look closely, the camera icon looks kind of different. I mean, it looks good. If you open the camera and this is how like everything is working, even the wide angle and stuff, everything is there. So no issues with every lens. Camera is well optimized, no issues whatsoever with MIUI camera. And talking about Gcam, yes, Google Camera 7 is working fine too. I did take this picture with Google Camera 7 and turned out it, it is pretty good. So no issues with the Google Camera 7, it is working right out of the box. Now let's talk about some other things. If I like do the test UFO thing, it will drop the FPS pretty much with like 48 and something. But I don't know why it is happening, but that is how it is. As you can see, 46 FPS, 48 FPS. Even though I have 72 Hz mod flashed, this is how the FPS I'm getting in Chrome. And it does feel quite laggy. The Chrome do feel quite laggy, as you can see. I think this is just the software optimization which like Xiaomi needs to work on. And I have been using these like Redmi Air Dots with this like device. And I gotta say that this is working pretty fine. And if you have not seen the review of this me or Redmi Air Dots, you can click on the card right here. The sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is pretty good, no issues regarding those. And in terms of ambient display and stuff, yes, let me show you. There is some new styles like these, as you can see. There are multiple styles which shows like this, and it does look pretty cool. As you can see, they do look awesome. No issues whatsoever with these like things but the clock is pretty small so I have been using like these kind of these clocks and stuff which has like bigger clock and you can also have some like custom signature from here you can like do this to like keep calm and carry on you can change the text and apply you can put your name and stuff over here or if you want to like show up a quote or something in the always on display you can do that from here so in terms of always on display i do not have any complaints regarding this always on display there is double tap to wake and like race to wake and of course we have the poco launcher by default so double tap to sleep is also there and here is the fingerprint scanner speed if you are noticing it is quite fast not bad at all so the fingerprint works every time no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner what i have noticed with the facebook app well i would say I have seen sometimes it tries to download something like it used to happen with the Mi when like 10 to so it just like keeps downloading something in the background as you can see it is doing it again feature for Facebook it sometimes asks for permission sometimes it doesn't it just straight up downloads something but it cannot install it so it just like keeps happening 
so i am not quite sure what is it i have not uninstalled and reinstalled facebook to check it but yeah this is how it is the facebook app sometimes like acts weird now let's talk about the battery life well with the 60 hertz or the default dtpo the battery life is pretty great i have been getting about 7 plus hours of screen on time with heavy usage and you can see the screenshots from here the battery like can last a really long time even if you are using the phone like heavily so no complaints regarding the battery life but i'm pretty sure that if you use this 72 hertz mod it is gonna drain the battery quite a lot so make sure to like know that before flashing the 72 hertz mod if you are really doing that i did not go back to like the 60 hertz yet but i gotta say the colors with the 72 hertz is a little bit different and sometimes you will see some obstacles in the screen like wherever there is dark and gray kind of color so that is how it is with this 72 hertz mod but the battery life will be better with 60 hertz mod or the default like dtvo so that is how i feel now let's talk about the fast charging well yes fast charging is working fine too i have got about like 2700 or something mh pulling up from the quick charge 3.0 18 watt charger the fast charging is working fine no issues whatsoever with the fast charging now let's talk about one more bug which is kind of a weird bug i have not seen it in the past but with this miui it should not be happening so let me talk about it well i have a youtube premium account so it does not show ads and here if i like play any video of mine even here as you can see it is playing fine but let me show you if i just like normally play this video and try to go back home the pip or the picture in picture does not work and it, it will just like force close now if i try to open youtube it will show me this black screen so this is a weird bug i am not sure why it's happening with me now if i try to fix this issue i have to like open apps info of youtube i have to force stop now if i go back to the library and try to play that video again let me show you the pip does work whenever i try to go to the settings now if i go into the settings from here as you can see the pip or the picture in picture do work flawlessly even i can like go home like open twitter and stuff so everything is there but let me tell you that it does not work whenever you are going home with the full screen gestures and talking about the full screen gestures yes the full screen gestures are working super fine no issues whatsoever and let me show you the drm info again the drm info shows as widevine l1 here so that is really good that you can stream on like netflix and amazon prime on 1080p so that is a really good thing google pay works flawlessly here no issues whatsoever with the banking apps because this is of course a stable stock rom so no issues whatsoever with google pay and stuff the performance i'm not quite sure how what should i tell you even with the 60 hertz when i opened the test EO for website i have seen that like with this website i have seen the fps is quite dropping up to like 55 56 so it is not constant 60 i'm not sure it, it is a optimization bug i think with chrome and miui 11 maybe so that's how i feel so here is the android score of this rom and in terms of pubg yes you can still play on the maximum settings and there is game booster of course so by default it sets itself to the highest settings possible and if you just go into the settings and graphics you will see that you can play on like hdr and extreme so no issues whatsoever with this you can play on like any settings you want but let me show you the fps over here it is doing about 55 it says 56 55 so yeah it is not quite reaching 60 the performance has really dropped i don't know if it's because of the magisk i have over here not quite sure but yeah this is definitely not the best performance you can get out of the redmi k20 pro and of course you will find a lot more things like the icons and stuff here are looking a lot different than it used to and the settings is kind of like a little bit optimized if you go into additional settings you will find the full screen display and stuff and if you go into the lock screen and stuff you will see this ambient or always on display then we have the launch camera pocket mode etc and if you go into sound this is how the sound settings looks like this toggles looks really cool it is kind of like the dot OS it used to be like these toggles and stuff i think and then we have the additional settings to like disable mode sounds and stuff then we have the earphone settings hi-fi audio i did not test it quite but yeah it should be working fine and there are a lot of options still for this like miui audio enhancer 
and there is the headphone remote buttons and assigned buttons and even the equalizer option is there so if you want to use any headphones like good headphones you can definitely use those you'll get pretty great output with the headphones so i'm not quite sure what is wrong with my device right now if it is the mi y11 or it is magisk or it is the 72 hertz mod but i gotta say that there is some kind of issues with performance here you will not get the best performance out there so yeah that is how it is with me y11 i think now let's open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management as as you can see here there is a little bit of choppiness and here again this says download that feature for facebook this keeps coming i'm not quite sure why it is happening what is wrong with my facebook or my device let's open spotify too now let's open all the apps from like memory again if you open a new app it is gonna show that like kind of artifacts where you will see it is like 20 fps but yeah that is how it is but once you have opened all the apps this should be pretty fast and snappy and as you can see all the apps stays in memory and the app switching and stuff is really good i can even like do this so all right play store calm down so it just keeps happening Sometimes the FPS is good, sometimes it is bad, so I'm not quite happy with the performance here that I can say. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel down below if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.